Welcome to Burping It Out Podcast with Anna Regina. I'm Anna Regina, and this is Burping It Out, where we don't say what we think, we burp it out. Hey, guys. Oh, my God, that was so annoying. Oh, my God. Hey, guys. Um. Okay, that sounded better. Today, we're going to talk about... Should I say... Oh, here's the thing. I don't know why I'm always like, today, we're going to talk about... And then I explain what I'm going to talk about. I feel like all of my titles of my podcast episodes are like very explanatory of what I'm going to talk about. Like I might talk about extra things or like, I don't know. I feel like I'm very self-explanatory when it comes to my titles. Like I talk about the things that I, that I mentioned in the title. So I'm not going to start like that. I'm going to start talking about how I've been lately. Well, I've been moving. Maybe you know that. I don't know if I mentioned it on the last episode. Anyway, these days I've been moving. I've been kind of busy. Um, me and my mom have been going back and forth to this uh, new house that we're moving to because I'm go- going to college. And so we're moving there, me and my parents, but my dad is in Mexico, which is also why the quality of the, these recordings is probably not as good as it was before. Well, it's probably not as good. It's definitely not as good. But whatever, I'm going to buy a mic soon, hopefully. Um, I just, I always forget. And also, like, I haven't had the most time to do that. I don't know. So there's that. Um, today I'm trying out this new thing. I wanted to, here's the thing, because I've heard that a lot of people record it, like, using boxes, like, you have, maybe you can hear that, I don't know, I'm sorry, I just kicked something, um, accidentally, anyway, so a lot of people that record their voices, they, what they do is they put their, they put their mic in a, in a tripod, and then they put it in a box or something, and so that box, um, absorbs the sound, and so there's no echo, and it's really good, apparently, and I tried doing that, but then the mic was really far away from my mouth, and I'm recording with my with my phone, so it has to be, like, very close, but, like, not too close. And it was actually pretty far away, and I was like, you know what, it's not going to turn out well. So I have the box in front of me, which is probably going to block a little bit of the sound, but, like, the mic is not in the box. So I don't know what that's going to do, but uh, it's there. Um, hopefully it's going to do something. I, I don't know, my expectations are not the highest, whatever. So that's all I wanted to say. Now let's start with this episode's topic. So this quarantine completely effed up my evil plan to get myself a boyfriend. And I will explain. Here's the thing. I'm not the most, like, I'm not someone who's very, I'm an idiot, okay? I, I do not, I do not how, do not how, I do not know <laughs> I do not know how to speak. I do not know how to... Here's the thing. When it comes to social situations... Okay, so I'm going to tell you the things that I'm good at. I'm good at studying. I'm good at... I'm pretty... Okay, so that sounds... uh, It probably sounds a little bit like bragging, but I'm usually good at everything that I do except for sports. Any type of sport except for, I guess, swimming and dancing and maybe uh, tennis, which are the sports that I actually like. Anyway, I'm pretty much good at everything except for some sports and social situations. I, I'm i not good with social situations. I do not know how to... Okay, so let alone do I know how to get a boyfriend. But actually, this um, this year I had a plan. It was a very lazy plan because I didn't have to do much. But it was a plan. Now, did it work? No. Was it going to work in like a different... In like a different situation if this quarantine hadn't happened i don't think so but a girl can dream okay and i do so i'm gonna explain to you everything that happened oh my god it's just so uh it's no i mean right now i don't give a fuck about this like i think i gave a fuck about this because here's the thing i wrote the idea for this for this um for this episode i wrote that like weeks ago what I was really like dying to talk about that but now it's been some time later and I don't care (laughs) that much about it anymore because here's the thing I and I didn't want to talk about curses today but I didn't have any more ideas because like I like I said I'm moving and I'm I'm not doing much like it's just moving is all that I'm doing it's all that I've been doing lately and so it's like like I don't know what to talk about and I and also, like, I didn't want to talk about crushes today because even though yesterday, supposedly, yesterday, <laughs> what the fuck? My brain is farting so hard right now. But on the last episode, I was talking, 
Well, on the last episode that I recorded, because I don't know when this is going to be published, I was going to, I was talking about makeup, and so I, supposedly, I wasn't really going to talk about crushes and stuff, but I, in my episodes, I always end up talking about crushes. I don't know why. I always end up talking about my current crush, my future husband, my first boyfriend. I, I don't know who the fuck that, that is. I never had a first boyfriend, in case you're new to my podcast. Or, like, I always end up talking about, I don't know, my past crushes. I don't know why I do that. Like, it's not even my favorite topic to talk about. Like, I love talking about my current crushes, but, like, it's not... I, I don't want to be one of those girls that are, like, constantly thinking about boys and, like, constantly talking about their crushes and, like, constantly thinking and talking about that shit. I mean, I'm constantly thinking about them. Like, that's inevitable when you have a crush. But I feel like I'm constantly talking about it, and I hate it because... On my podcast, you're going to think that I'm, that I'm always thinking about that, but I'm really not. I sort of got, I'm a person that, like, does other things other than talking about crushes because I don't know why I always end up talking about crushes. I swear to God, when I'm with my friends, when I'm with my parents, when I'm with anyone, literally, I'm not talking about crushes. And I don't want to, I, I don't know why I do this. I think that because, like, with, I think with, because here, I don't, like, I'm not talking with anyone else. And so I'm talking about me and my interests and my life and my experiences and my my values and shit, I feel like that gives me a lot of room to, like, talk about my crushes. And I hate that. I don't want to be like that. I I think, like, for the next few episodes, I don't want to talk about crushes anymore. I don't want to talk about them anymore. Like, as much as I can, I'm going to try not to talk about them. Like, if I'm talking about something that has nothing to do with them, I, I, I don't want to mention them. You know? Um, just, I'm going to try to do that as an experiment. Let's see how that turns out. And I... Oh my god, I haven't even started talking about this, right? Okay, so, um, okay, today we're gonna talk about crushes against my will. Um, no, actually not against my will, like, this is funny to talk about, but, like, um, I don't know. I'm kinda, I kinda hate myself for always talking about crushes, but you know what, whatever. I have no idea how to get a boyfriend, okay? I just said that, I don't know how many minutes ago, but I said that, right? But here's the thing, this year, I had a plan. I had a freaking plan. So there was this guy that I liked. He was in my class. Only this year. Oh my god. <laughs> if you know me, <laughs> if you know me in real life, you're probably supposing who it was. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Um, I don't give a fuck anymore, right? We're out of, we're out of high school, okay? I don't give a fuck. Okay, so this guy was in my class, and uh, I really liked him, and I, I, I knew that he didn't like me, and I'm not going to say why, because that, that's TMI, and I don't I don't want to talk shit about him, okay? Because I feel like if I mention why, I'm going to end up insulting him, and I don't want that because I, he's my crush. Who am I kidding? Like, I, I okay, I, that kind of makes me angry when I think about it, but, like, like, I still have a crush on him, so why, like, you know? So I really liked this guy, and I knew that he didn't like me, and I was like, well, I am not the beautifulest girl around, right? I'm not, okay, I'm not, I don't stand out. My face doesn't stand out on the norm. And uh, that's all right, you know? Why do you want to get all the attention? So here's the thing, this guy, okay, I like this guy that doesn't like me. That's it, that's it. I like him and he doesn't like me, okay? That's pretty much it. That's everything. And so I was like, okay, this guy doesn't like me. But like, what if, here's the thing, I, when I do my makeup, I don't know if it, I don't know if I'm, like, really skilled when it comes to makeup or my face just has a lot of potential to look better with makeup. <laughs> or maybe it's both things. I haven't figured it out yet. But uh, it's one of those things or the two. I don't know. I always look, uh, like, ten times better with makeup. And so, and people have told me. Well, they haven't told me that I look, like, ten times better with makeup, but, like, the few times that I've done my makeup, people are like, oh, my God, like, what the, f you know? So I think that either I have a lot of potential or I'm just really good with my hands. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that sounded really, really bad. Um, I'm gonna take that back. I'm I'm really good at doing my makeup. Let's leave it there. Um <laughs> Bro, I swear to god, I'm like I'm more prude than a freaking nun. Don't be dirty-minded, okay? Let's continue. So I was like, okay, what if, like, because here's the thing. I was like, maybe he doesn't like me, but, like, what if, like, one day 
that we go to the disco or something, like, at night and shit, he sees me wearing this, like, full glam makeup. So he sees me looking ten times better than I usually do. And, like, what if he, like, develops a crush on me if I'm wearing makeup, right? And so I wore makeup on this huge party at uh, New Year's Eve. Um, There was this huge party. Everybody was there. Him included, me included, blah, blah, blah. And so I didn't see him. And the whole night, we were there from, like, 12 to 4. And I never saw him. There was, I mean, okay. So at one point, I thought I had seen him. He was wearing a... Because here's the thing, it's like a formal thing. People dress actually formal, like, even though, like, you're going partying, like, you, you dress, like, formally, so guys would wear suits, most bleh, most of them, and uh, and he was wearing a suit, and I and I thought I had seen him, and I, and, and he was wearing a gray suit, but turns out that it wasn't him, because I saw pictures that he posted, and he was wearing a dark blue suit, and I was like, the other guy that I saw wasn't him what the fuck maybe it was the lighting the like make made it look like a gray suit and it was actually a dark blue suit i don't know maybe it was the lighting and it was actually him or maybe it wasn't him and my brain was just you know like my brain wanted to see him and so like it probably saw something that it wanted to see but it wasn't what you know like sometimes when you think that something is ha- happening or happening or like you want something to happen or whatever like your brain doesn't see well, it, it, does that make sense? Like, my brain wanted to see what it wanted to see. And so it saw this guy's face, Mark's face, and someone else's face. Um, In case you've never listened to my podcast, uh, you probably don't know that Mark is actually not his name. So don't get scared if I say Mark. His name is actually another name. It's, okay? So there's that. And that was completely off topic. So the thing is, I didn't see him. I don't think I saw him in real life. And uh, most probably he didn't even see me either. So that was really sad because I was there for four hours and um, we never crossed um, looks or gazes or whatever the fuck. No, gazes is something else. Because the gaze is like, well, we never saw each other. Okay, that's it. Let's see it there. And so um, now we're going to fast forward to March 2019. No. <laughs> March 2020. I don't even know why I say why I'm saying the year because like if it was it was this year it was reason like why am I okay let's fast forward to March 2020 in case you're listening to this after 2020 if the world doesn't end um of course it's not gonna end that was a joke okay I'm not that stupid what was I gonna say oh yeah so March 2020 it was carnival and so we were all going to this disco wearing suits whatever the fuck so I was dressed as a police officer policeman police okay so I would the the costume it was a policeman costume because like if I bought because here's the thing there's no police woman costume there's either sexy police woman costume or slutty whatever the fuck uh, police woman costume and like with I mean never in the world I was never ever ever gonna wear that costume okay I don't even I don't even know why I'm getting into this I was not gonna wear that costume so and I didn't even find it in the store so like there was no option there was no like room for me to do that so that was completely off topic so um so I was dressed as a policeman and I it was a little bit big on me but I managed to make it look good on me and I was wearing this like uh dark blue bomber jacket because the suit was dark blue and I was wearing my my military or combat boots whatever you call it I was wearing that and I it was fine like my costume was fine it was actually I was pretty happy with it but what really I mean the best part about my outfit was my makeup it was everything I was wearing dark blue eyeshadow like a gradient with like it was like silver and then it faded into a nice um really dark blue um color and my lips were also dark blue and I did a lot of highlighter I contoured my nose I basically photoshopped my face, okay? I did a whole thing right there. And so I I straightened my hair and everything. I I was looking a lot better than I usually do in real life. A lot of people didn't recognize me. Some of my friends and classmates didn't recognize me. My neighbors didn't recognize me. I've already mentioned it on the last episode. But, you know, because today, today, you know, this this night actually was like a huge part of what I'm going to talk about today. 
Um, I'm gonna obviously go a little bit deeper into this. So basically, there's that. What was I gonna say? So I was looking really good in in in, in conclusion. And so I wanted him to see me. I knew that he was going to be there because he posted that he was going to be there. I'm not going to tell you exactly what he posted because I don't want to be TMI, but he, I, I knew for a fact that he was going to be there because he posted it on Instagram somewhere. And so, wait, hold on. Let me change my position a little bit. And so let me drink some water. So, what was I going to say? Yeah, I was dressed as a policewoman. Well, policeman slash woman, because I'm a woman, but I was dressed as a man. Not a man, but like, I was dressed as a policeman slash woman, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I wanted to see my crush. I knew for a fact that I was going to see him, and uh, and I didn't see him. I literally looked everywhere all the time um, in case I would see him. Um, I saw his friends a couple times. And I was like, well, if his friends are here, um, I'm going to see him with them. And I never saw him. Not with his friends, not with other people that I didn't know were his friends. Or it could have been his friends. I don't, I, I never saw him. So he was, he was not there. Because I swear to God, I looked at everyone and I, I swear to God, I saw my whole town. I saw the whole town that was next to my town. I saw everybody. Everybody, okay? And he was not there, which was really disappointing because I... I don't think I've ever looked that good in my life. I don't think I'm ever gonna look as good as I looked that that night. I don't know. Here's the thing. I didn't see him, and I here's the thing. It's it was really dark, and I wasn't wearing glasses. Um, you probably don't know this, but I wear glasses. I'm not wearing glasses on my podcast cover art because I took that picture at home, and uh, the lighting was not the best, and so my my glasses reflected the light, and I was like, well, I want you to see my eyeballs, right? Because I have eyeballs, okay. And I was like, okay, glasses off. Because here's the thing, glasses are like a huge part of, I feel like they're a huge part of me and my personality. I feel like when I'm not wearing glasses, I, I feel naked. Well, not naked, but like I feel like I'm lacking a body part. I'm lacking a, a, a hand or an arm or a leg or whatever. Because like, without my glasses, I I don't see very well. I mean, I don't, honestly, if you're like two meters away from me and like, and um, and you're walking past me in the street. If I don't say hi to you, it's because I didn't see you. And so I just I cannot. I, even if I don't see it, it's like okay, I never saw that person. So like I don't know if like they actually know me, and, and they're gonna be like, oh, she didn't say hi to me. But like I'm not gonna know because I'm I I haven't seen this person, and they're probably not gonna tell me that I saw him and didn't uh, greet them. But here's the thing. I, I don't know. I, I just, I'm, I'm really scared that that happens. I'm really scared that that happens. And so I never leave my house with, without glasses. But that day I was like, you know what? On this other night, uh, New Year's Eve. Did I say Christmas Eve when I was talking about it before? I don't know. Anyway, on New Year's Eve, I, I was not really wearing glasses, but I had them in my purse. So like, I, I, I would put them on and off like all the time. And like, uh like, it was, it was really annoying because every time people were like, oh, look, I had to put on my glasses. And, that would, and then I would forget to take them off. And so, you know, the makeup doesn't really, it's not that noticeable when you're wearing glasses. And sometimes I was like, oh, my God, I'm wearing my glasses. And then I would take them off. And then someone, and then someone would go like, hey, look. And I'm like, Ugh. um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So I wasn't wearing glasses. I was like, you know what? I don't want the same shit to happen. If I don't see, I don't see. Okay. If I need someone to to guide me or whatever the fuck, someone's going to guide me. Okay. If I, if I don't see shit, I don't see shit. Okay. I don't give a fuck. It's just one freaking night. Fuck it. If I don't see, I just, I just rather not see. For one night, I want my eyeshadow to be noticeable. Okay. And you're not going to ruin that for me. And so, why was I talking about the fact that I wasn't wearing glasses? Oh, yeah, because I didn't see my crush. I was just about to say his name. Oh, my God. Oof. I'm so TMI. Oof. He here's the thing. It's so hard for me not to mention his name because it's my favorite guy name. And, I and not because he, not because I like it. Or like not because he's my crush. But, like, I don't know. It's just, ah, it's really hard for me not to say it. Oh, my God. I'm having such a hard time. I, ooh, I hate it. I hate it. Anyway. So I did not see this guy, and probably because, it, it was probably because I wasn't wearing glasses, but I really did not see him. I really did not think he was there, because I literally looked at everyone, I literally saw everyone, and I didn't see him. So I don't think he was there. Anyway, so he wasn't there, and I was really disappointed, and blah, blah, blah. And I, I mentioned this on, um, 
the last episode, but I want to mention it again. So there's this guy who has a girlfriend who was in my class. And so she's like, he's like really known. He's like known by everyone, like as a really handsome guy. Like people often say that he's really handsome and stuff. Like he's known as a handsome guy. And I, here's the thing, he is handsome, but, like, personally, he's not my, uh, like, I don't have a crush on him. I do not, I do not think he's, like, as handsome as people say. So, well, that guy, he had a girlfriend, she was in my class, whatever the fuck, blah, 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 blah. Um, and so, that guy, he was, oh my god, it's gonna be really hard to explain this without, um, um, moving my hands, but, like, you can't see me. So, he was, like, imagine I was in a place. And so he's, like, coming towards my direction, but he's also, like, turning 90 degrees to my right. Yeah, it took me a really long time to say right, because I sometimes it's hard for me to differentiate between left and right, both in English and Spanish. I don't know why. So he was, like, a meters away from me, and he was, like, at, at first he was kind of, like, coming towards my direction, but then he turned to my to my right, um, when he was like, let's say three meters away from me. So he did a 90 degrees turn or something. He did a line and then 90 degrees and then another line three meters away from me. Okay. So I hope you understood that because I don't know how else to explain it. So he did that. And then when he was coming towards my direction, he looked at me and he looked at me so like, oh my God, I... I wish someone had recorded that. I wish, oh my God, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I, he looked at me like I was a fucking goddess. He looked at me like I was a miracle. He looked at me like he was almost dripping drool. He had his mouth open. His eyes were kind of wide open. Um, I couldn't see him very well. Like his facial expression, I couldn't see him that well. But I, but I could see enough to recognize him, to know who he was, and to know what facial expression he was, he was making. And so he was kind of like dripping drool, you know, like mouth open, jaw on the floor, blah, blah, blah. And so he, when he was walking towards me, like in my direction, he, it was like, that lasted like three, four seconds, three, four, five seconds. And he was going kind of slow because there's a lot of people and stuff and you, you sort of have to make your way. The, between all of these people and so he was looking at me and he was having that face and I was like like is that me and they he l literally his eyes were looking to my face like it was a straight line to my face and so and then he turned like the 90 degrees and then he wasn't looking at me anymore but like I sort of got those three four five seconds I don't know how many let's say four those four seconds were the longest seconds of my life I was like oh my god there's this guy looking at me and also, let's th remember the fact that, like, people, when they talk about him, they're like, oh, my God, he's so handsome. I was like, I was, sh I was like, that added so much to my ego and to my, to my, mm, how to say it? Not to my ego. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? This guy that supposedly is, like, so handsome and shit, did you see how he looked at me? Like, I, none of my friends noticed, because if they had noticed, at least I don't think they noticed, but, like, if they had, they would have probably told me something. They were probably being like, oh, my God, girl, did you know this guy just looked at you like, uh, you know? So I don't <laughs> I don't think they noticed, but whatever. I I hope I didn't hallucinate. I That's it. So that guy looked at me, and I was, I mean, it was, like, a bittersweet feeling, because I was like, oh, my God, I just felt really good about this. But, like, also, I wish I had seen my crush, and I wish that, that that my crush had looked at me like that. And so, from that moment on, I was like, okay, let's not lose hope. And so, my evil plan began. I was like, okay. So, I look really good with makeup and shit. And I was like, well, maybe if he looks at me, he's gonna be impressed. But I wasn't really sure. But then when I saw that this guy got really impressed... And I think if he knew, because here's the thing, he knows me. We all live in a town. And it, when you live in a small town, if you live in a small town, you probably know this. Well, you obviously know this. Everybody knows each other. Everybody knows who everybody else is and what everybody else does or has done or whatever the fuck. Everybody knows each other. And so he, I don't think he had, I don't think he recognized me because if he had known who I was, 
he would have probably been, he would have probably not looked at me as much or whatever. But I don't think he recognized me because he looked at me like I was a freaking goddess. And if he had known that that was me, he would have been like, wait, what the fuck? I know Regina, what the fuck? Is that her? No, 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 you're kidding. So I'm glad that he didn't know that that was me. That would have been a little bit, I don't know. I'm glad that he, I, I mean, I don't think he recognized me. So I, I just really hope that he didn't. Anyway, that was, I'm just rambling around. Um, so anyway, so that guy looked at me a lot and I was like, well, I, it worked with this guy. He didn't approach me and talk to me, but like, I mean, he had a girlfriend and maybe like if he hadn't had a girlfriend, he wouldn't have talked to me, which is really sad. But you know what? I'm not going to be sad about it because I don't know what would have happened, but whatever. I mean, I was, he was not my crush. So like nothing was really going to come out of that. Um, and also, like, I'm really glad that he didn't approach me and talk to me because that would have been really awkward. Not because of him, but because of me, okay? Let's continue. So I was like, well, it worked with this guy. He was really impressed. So I was like, okay, there's this other, like, big party or big thing at the disco. Do you call it the disco or the club? I don't know. Because I feel like if I say the club, you probably think of this, uh, like, you're probably going to think of the strip club. Well, we at the club. Not a strip club, a club where everybody dances. Because, it, like, nobody says disco. Th disco was, like... A word of the 80s 80s and 90s we were at the club at the freaking club and so there was another huge party that everybody was going to at the same club on on april yeah on april and i was going with my friends because uh, we don't go to the club often but i was like please guys we have to go and they were like okay yeah we're, we're most probably going because we had a lot of fun let it in carnival and so they were like actually pretty willing to go and so i was like yay and so we were going, and uh, and this guy posted, because here's the thing, I, t I think tickets got, like, I think you have to buy tickets, like, soon or something, because, like, they get sold out easily or something. I don't know, but, like, they were announcing what DJs or what shit was happening that night or something, and so, like, people started reposting it on social media very early, and one of those people that were reposting it was my crush. And I was like, okay, I hope that he's going for this one. I hope that he's actually going to this one because he said he was going to carnival and he, 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 he fucking didn't. So I was like, okay, so I hope that he goes this time. And so I was like, okay, we got to decide. We got to plan. Okay. So I did this certain makeup look uh, on New Year's Eve. And then I did this other makeup look in carnival. So I want to do something different, but also like something that I can do like full glam, whatever. So I was deciding what to wear. It, it, this was March. This was, like, right after Carnival, really. Um, I was already deciding what to wear, um, what makeup look to do. I was, like, trying... I wasn't really trying outfits, but I was, like, thinking about it. And actually, that week, I was going to do two different makeup looks because I was like, should I do this one or the other one? And I was like, well, I'm going to do the one that looks best on me, right? And so I was going to do the two. I actually practiced one of them on a Thursday or, or Wednesday. Oh, fuck. When was it? I think it was on a Wednesday or something. Yeah, I think it was on a Wednesday. And uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, and quarantine started on Friday. Quarantine started on Friday. And I didn't even get to do the other one. I don't know why. Because I had nothing to do at the beginning of the quarantine. Because they weren't assigning us homework yet. And while that party that was happening in April never happened. Because we were in quarantine from like the middle of March until like the middle of May or something because like we okay we started quarantining quarantining I don't know like like one day they sent us home and they told us like okay don't leave your house ever just to go to the supermarket and do it as the least possible and uh and then they were doing like okay now you're gonna be able to go but like uh only under this circumstance and like and, and you can only go, like, one by one. And then and after a week or two, they were like, okay, now you can go in twos. Or, like, now you can actually go running. Now you can go cycling or whatever the fuck. And so they kind of did, like, a progressive like a progressive thing to get out of our houses uh, freely, let's say. Why am I talking about this? This has nothing to do with... Anyway, so on april i mean april was the middle of the quarantine really april was the middle of the quarantine so that event that was happening on april did not happen and so my dreams were like 
they were fucked up because I was like, well, this guy, if he sees me, he's probably going to get impressed and he's probably going to approach me and talk to me. Here's the thing. He was most probably not going to because as far as I know, he likes a girl and he, as far as I know, he hasn't asked her out. So um, how in the fuck was he going to ask a girl that he doesn't know who she is? I mean, he knows who I am, but like, I'm assuming, but like, let's just assume that he was not going to recognize me, like wearing makeup and stuff. And so he was not going to ask a girl that he just saw like at the disco or something. Like, most probably. Like, I don't know him, really, and I don't know what's going to happen. I don't control... I don't have a... Con- blah, blah, blah. I don't have control of over the things that happen, you know? I'm not... I don't know. I don't have superpowers. But I don't know. Like, it was... It was the the closest thing to a plan that I could have. I'm like, okay, he's coming to this party, and I'm going to look as good as possible, and hopefully he's going to see me and ask me out and whatever the fuck. I mean, that would give me more chances of of having him talk to me than if I were just, you know, wearing no makeup, face washed, um, hair not straightened, and wearing sweatpants. I could have done that. I could wear sweatpants at the club. Actually, my dream is to go with, to the club in sweatpants one day. Because, like, if guys do that, why couldn't I do that? I mean, not that I dress, like, super glam, like, to go to the club. I think I dress pretty normally. Not, like, normally, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't dress, like, I don't wear high heels. I don't wear a really short skirt. I don't wear, like... Cleave, I mean, me wearing cleave is something you don't want to see. Because I don't have boobs, so it's just, it would be really funny. <laughs> and, like, short skirt? You can't dance with that shit. How can I do anything in it? So, that's off topic. But, like, I had a plan. My plan was that. It was probably really lame and really lazy. Because I didn't have a plan of, like, talking to him. Or, like, mm, I don't know trying to like induce or produce or whatever the fuck this sort of like situation where like he talks to me or like I talk to him and like it makes sense and like we get along and like he somehow starts being attracted to me or starts catching feels for me whatever the fuck like I'm not I don't know how to plan that shit out I don't I don't have that many brain cells I don't care that much okay but I, I had a little, I have a bit, uh, I, uh, I had a, I ha, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I had a bit of a plan. I, uh, I, what the fuck is happening? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was probably really intense right now. You're probably thinking, what the fuck? This bitch is absolutely crazy. Someone send her an Uber to the hospital. What the fuck? I had a plan. Call it whatever. That plan was probably stupid. I'm probably stupid. But it was a plan. You call that shit a plan. That shit has no other name but a plan. And so the quarantine fucked it up. Because now I don't think I'm ever going to see that guy again. I mean, I might though. Because like, life doesn't end here. I, I might. But like, what I'm saying is I never saw him in school again. Okay? So like, it kind of effed up my plan. You know? And he doesn't go to parties often. So, like, those were the opportunities that I had because I, and I knew for sure that he was going. Thank God he posted that on, on, on Instagram. Um, and now I don't, because here's the thing, I'm not going to live in this town anymore. So, like, I'm probably not going to be able to go to parties that, that often. I mean, I hope that I do. I mean, if I, like, if my friends want to hang out and, like, go to parties, like, here and stuff, like, I'm totally freaking going. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be a little bit harder because I'm, you know, like, I'm going to be in college and stuff and he's going to be doing whatever the fuck he's gonna do, or whatever, and, like, I just don't think I'm ever gonna have this chance, here's the thing, no, but, like, here's the thing, this, this probably was really depressing, but you know what, I'm gonna make you feel better right now, he wasn't that big of a crush, he wasn't that big of a, fr- uh, da, da. <laughs> a frush, <laughs> he wasn't that big of a crush, but hear me out, he was, I just do not understand, because, like, he's, like, the, the handsomest guy I've ever seen in my life, but, like, he's not the biggest crush I've ever had, the biggest crush I've ever had was a guy that was really intelligent, a really good person, basically someone I fell in love with because of their personality, which I think makes sense, and I'm happy that that is the way that, and I'm, and I'm really glad that it is that way, because I feel like personality should, you know, dominate over uh, books, right, and so this guy, I had pretty much no idea about him, and the few things that I knew about him, I was like, well, I mean, he's not a bad guy, he's not a, he's a, he's a good guy, but like, he, He's not really my type because he, like, our values don't seem to be the same. I mean, the things that he cares about are things that I 
don't care so much about. And the things that matter to me the most, he doesn't give a crap about that shit. So, you know, we were pretty different in that sense. And so I'm not that sad that it, it didn't happen, but I was like, at least I would have liked to, I don't know, date him for like seven months or like three months or not nah, seven months. Sounds, sounds all right. I mean, I mean, I mean, what the, I mean, a year would have been fine. A two years would have been fine, but you know what I mean? Like at least I would have liked to try. Like, I know that he's not my type. I know that we're not going to get married. because We're not really each other's type, but like, I don't know. I just wanted something to happen, dude. I mean, he's not hes not the worst guy you can date. I swear to God. i You know, even if, like, me and him are really different and stuff and there's shit that I don't like about him, but, like, I mean, no one is perfect, right? But, like, I feel like whoever the fuck marries him is going to be lucky. Unless he, like, turns out to be um, someone who, like, abuses women, like, physically or mentally or sexually, whatever the fuck. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen, but, like, it might, though. Um... But, like, I, I mean, that's not going to fucking happen, okay? There's a lot of people. That, I know a lot of people who are, like, way more likely to do that to their wives, their future wives. So there's that. Why am I getting so serious? Why am I talking about these things? This, have nothing, this has nothing to do with, like, okay, lo- uh, okay I'm going to summarize this really fast. He's not a bad guy. He's, he's more of a good guy. He was not the one, obviously. But, like, at least I would have liked to date him for some time. I... St- he was really handsome and he was a good guy. Like, I mean, it wasn't bad for my first relationship, honestly. The handsomest guy in my class. And he's actually a good guy. And that's my first boyfriend. Like, that's that's a pretty good thing for a first boyfriend. Like, what the fuck? Right? That's a... that's That would be fucking amazing. Fucking? <laughs> fucking? It's like fucking and, 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 and freaking? <laughs> Yeah, I fuck up a lot. My my brain does that to me. I don't know why it hates me. It's been hating me for for the past like four years, six years, two years. I don't I don't know for how long it's been hating me, or maybe forever. I don't know. So there's that. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I wanted to vent because also like I feel like talking about this because you're probably thinking like oh quarantine that's old, but like a lot of countries are still in quarantine, and like maybe right now because I because I live in Spain. Maybe right now we're not in a quarantine, but I I have the feeling that we're gonna be like we're gonna be put in another quarantine soon, you know, because like there's more and more cases of coronavirus um these days, so I feel like they're gonna they're gonna send us home. I don't know when, um, and so you know, I kind of fucked up. I don't know. Uh, quarantine ruined my plans to get a boyfriend once. And I hope it doesn't do it for the second time. Nah, you know what? The second time, I... I mean, I don't know. Like, when I start college, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have a crush on someone. I don't know if I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, Quarantine is going to F up things. Like, economics. It's going to fuck it up more than it already has fucked it up. But, but let's just hope for the best. Let's hope not to... Uh, we're not going to get extinct, that's for sure. I, I, I don't... I'm not God or anything, but, like, we're not going to get extinct. Don't worry. Don't fear that. That's not going to fucking happen. Um, anyway, that that's all that I wanted to talk about. Um, long story short, um, I had a plan. I wanted to get a boyfriend. I had a really lazy plan to make that happen. Um, the first time, it turned out like shit. Second time, turned out a little bit like shit. It turned out, like, kind of well, but, like, not with my crush. And, like, the third time, it just did not even happen. And, like, and now it's... My opportunities are gone, but, like, it's fine because he wasn't that big of a crush. Um, but I wish him to have the best girlfriend he can have. Um, so there's that. I just wanted to vent. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you had a laugh. Um, because my brain farted quite a few times on this episode. I don't know if one day I'm gonna make a minimally decent episode or a minimally decent commentary. Working on it. I'm working on it. That's all I wanted to say. This is probably really lame, but I I don't know if I've been for 10 minutes or two hours. I have no idea. I'm just going to end this here. Uh, Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for, I don't know. I feel like if you've been listening from the beginning or if you're listening to, I don't know, at least three episodes, you probably already know everything about me. I feel like, (laughs) or pretty much everything about me right now. I don't know. So there's that. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have an amazing day, night, wherever you live, wherever you are. Um, I hope this quarantine doesn't fuck us up. and. And I hope there's not a next one, but there's going to be a next one. I just hope that there isn't a third one.
because I'm already taking the second one for granted. So I hope that there isn't a third quarantine. And uh, and that's it. Um, thank you so much for listening. Again, I think I already said it like three times. And I'm out. Bye. And that was the end of the episode. Hope you liked it. This podcast is also on Twitter and Instagram at Burping It Out Pod. At B U R P I N G I T O U T P O D. You can also find me on social media at It's Anna Regina. At I T S A N A R E G I N A. I hope you have a great day or night, and I will see you next time. <laughs>